Song Joong-ki is one of the most beloved Korean actors who currently stars in the drama Reborn Rich. But what do we really know about him? Joong-ki's well-deserved international fame came with many difficult and bizarre situations. An example could be the time when the Chinese government had to issue a caution against overindulgence in the dramas in which the actor played in. According to them, the actor and his roles had a direct influence on the rise of plastic surgeries, domestic violence, and divorces in China's households. The whole statement might seem to be a bit excessive, but the fact is, is that husbands of Chinese women were too jealous of the actor to be okay with the simping of their wives. Now, to take it from the beginning, Jung Ki was born on September 19, 1985, and lived in Dae Jong Dong District. His childhood was pretty normal. He was born as the second child of three siblings. He said in one interview that his parents used to dress him up in pink clothes like a girl because they wanted a daughter as their second child. To complete the look, he also had long hair tied into a ponytail. According to him, their neighbors used to mistake him for a pretty girl, to which Jung Ki used to reply that he's not a girl but a boy. But young Jung Ki was a mischievous boy who used to be quite bratty. His true calling was acting, and he was set on it since elementary school, as he mentioned in an interview. I remember begging my parents to send me to an acting class when I was in elementary school. I went to an audition for a cable drama, and I did it comfortably because I had no expectations that I would make it. I went just to get experience in auditioning, but it went well. He's not only a talented actor, but also a sportsman. He used to represent his hometown in short track speed skating. Later, he used his skating ability when he landed a role in the TV series Triple, where he portrayed a national team skater. But Jung Ki wasn't destined for the sport. His sports career was cut short because of the injury he suffered when he was in his first year of high school. He was scouted on the subway in Seoul, but he didn't start in the industry immediately because his father was against it. In 2012, Jung Ki graduated with a business administration degree with a minor in broadcasting from Song Kyung Kwan University. His first appearance on television was in a TV show Quiz Korea as a contestant, where he was added at the last minute as a substitute for another six senior. He also modeled for a university magazine, College. His acting debut was a role in A Frozen Flower in 2008. In 2009, he appeared in Triple and Will It Snow for Christmas. For two years, he hosted Music Bank. But his breakthrough role was the role of the indolent playboy in Song Kyung Kwan Scandal, which later became a cult classic. In 2011, he landed the role of the young King Sejong in the drama Tree with Deep Roots. Jung Ki also narrated the documentary Tears of the Antarctic, which deals with environmental issues. The actor gave his salary from the project to charity, so that really showed his true colors. 2012 was the breakthrough year for Jung Ki, as he starred in a fantasy romance movie, A Werewolf Boy, which became the most successful Korean melodrama because it sold 7 million tickets. To prepare for his role, he watched movies like Edward Scissorhands, The Lord of the Rings, and Let Me In. In the same year, he got his first leading role as an anti-hero in the drama The Innocent Man, for which he was critically appraised. However, he enlisted in August 2013 for his mandatory military service and served for two years in an infantry unit, whose role was to patrol and conduct reconnaissance missions. He said about his military experience in an interview, Living as a soldier made me more mature, and I was able to gain valuable life's experience. I was worried about being afraid or lonely, but it was actually like a long break. A lot of my worries went away, and it, the army duty, turned out to be a good experience. After his mandatory break from acting, Jun Ki returned stronger than ever and played a military officer in Descendants of the Sun, together with his co-star Song Hye Kyo. The stars had chemistry beyond words on the set, and that chemistry later transformed into real life. According to rumors, the couple had feelings for each other before the drama aired, and they were only getting stronger. To the surprise and delight of the fans, the couple was seen together several times, which sparked relationship rumors, but all the rumors were denied by the respective agencies. But in July 2017, Jung Ki and Haekyo decided to come out and announce that their relationship progressed from friendship to dating, and it was really serious between them. The actors tied the knot in October 2017 in a beautiful ceremony where they looked beyond happy. Sadly, their marriage wasn't a long-lasting one. The rumors of their separation started really early when Hekyo was seen without her wedding ring, which suggested that the couple was experiencing some difficulties. And the assumptions weren't wrong. A year and a half after their wedding, the couple announced the separation and later a divorce. It's believed that the couple already lived separately 11 months after the wedding because of their issues. According to insiders, both of them suffered in the marriage. Hekyo lost a lot of weight and looked unhealthy, and Junki experienced massive hair loss. Junki was the first one who issued a statement where he announced the preceding divorce. At the same time, he asked his fans to respect his privacy in those difficult times. In the same statement, he vowed to primarily focus on his acting career. According to Hekyo, they decided to divorce because of personality differences. However, the rumor mill believed that the actress might have had an affair with Jun Ki's close friend Pak Bo Gum, but Pak's agency threatened legal action against anyone who spread those rumors. There are also rumors that Jun Ki is the one who cheated on his wife with her makeup artist. We might never learn the truth, but the result was the end of the Song Song power couple. Descendants of the Sun was an important role for Jun Ki and and for 
for his career as he not only found his wife, but the movie also hyped up Junkie's international fame. The world fell in love with his character, Captain Yu Shitin. The same year as the movie premiered, the actor won the Baeksong Arts Award for the most popular actor. In 2019, he starred in the quite controversial drama Arthdol Chronicles. The first Korean ancient historical drama received considerable backlash because it looked awfully similar to HBO's Game of Thrones, only with much worse CGI. But the show, even after the complaints, was renewed for a second season, but Junkie left the project. The possible reason is his busy program, which resulted in a scheduling conflict. The fans were disappointed as he played a lead role, and sudden change is difficult to stomach. The first big project after the divorce was Netflix's Space Sweepers in 2021. The movie debuted at number one on the streaming platform. The series Vincenzo, where Junkie portrayed the titular character, became the sixth highest rated drama in Korean television history. And this year, he stars in Reborn Rich and the thriller Bogota. Reborn Rich is the latest released fantasy drama where Junkie portrays not one but two characters at the same time, Yoo Hyun-woo and Jin Do-soon. The drama follows Yoo Hyun-woo, who used to be a secretary of the Table family, but the same family framed him for embezzlement, which resulted in his passing. However, he's reborn into that family as their youngest son, Jin Do-jun. His main plan is to take over the company and get revenge. To completely and thoroughly prepare for the roles, Doonki put a lot of thought into the physical appearances of the character. For Yoo Hyun-woo, he wore glasses for the first time in drama, and for the other character, he prepared outfits that would be wearable by college students. Now Junki is preparing for another role in the movie, Do Ki Won, and he shared that he is studying a lot to express the character Do Ki Won who defected from North Korea and settled in another country. When he was asked what he considers the most when he chooses a project, he said, I think it is the project's narrative. I tend to think the direction of how the story flows is the most important. I try to select projects that are interesting and worth watching for viewers. He also looks forward to working with people including actors and staff members. His acting career is based on one simple motto where he wants to be a good actor rather than a famous one. He manages to be both because of his incredible talent. His acting abilities were rewarded when he was also made Korean Tourism Honorary Ambassador with the aim of actively promoting Korea and its tourism worldwide. Other accomplishments of his include being the first actor to be invited to KBS News 9. Interestingly enough, he was listed as 34th on the top 100 future generation of leaders. Jung Ki's passion besides acting is philanthropy, in which he's actively participated since the beginning of his career. He advocated for cancer-stricken children, which was announced by Korea Childhood Leukemia Foundation on their blog. According to the foundation, he secretly donated money for the treatment of 10 children and continues to support the children. In 2015, he donated 100 million won to help victims of the Nepal earthquake, which happened in April 2015. In 2018, the actor donated money for the victims of a wildfire that happened in Gangwon province. His philanthropic work was awarded the Presidential Commendation Award in 2021. The actor was following his own no social media policy because he didn't want to create any social media accounts. According to him, he wasn't tech savvy enough and didn't know how to use them correctly. That changed in February 2021 when he finally created his official Instagram account, which is managed by his agency, History DNC. Another surprising thing about Junki, which the fans might not know, is that Junki is also a published author. Publishing a book isn't an easy feat, but he managed it. In 2010, together with Huang Minyoung, he wrote a book titled Beautiful Skin Project for Men, in which they reveal secrets behind the perfect skin. And who doesn't want to look as youthful as Song Junki? Junki appears to be booked and busy, and it might not change for many years to come. His growing career will delight his fans because his performances are loved by many. In which drama did Song Junki capture your heart? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.